Common is an acronym that we came up with that means Crew Operational Management and Education Tool. And that basically means that it is a one-stop shop for your crew force management, largely handling crew scheduling, but also tackling some training pieces as well. Comet, as of it stands, is a operational crew scheduling tool. It is used to schedule ops crews, also to track who's qualified in what positions. A lot of the units use Excel. They use like an access database. Some of them use some other things. And now with Nipper being more restrictive on what you can do on things, as in scripts, we're trying to get everybody organized, Just get them a live app that they can see on their phone, from their home computer, that they don't have to be on a Nipper machine, that they can see, hey, I'm coming up on crew, I want to put in leave they can see their schedule, they can see the ops tempo, things like that. So we're just trying to bring it into more of the cloud-based management and get away from the Excel spreadsheets. Total grassroots effort. There was a super coder that wanted to work with uh, Genesis. He never got to go through the pipeline and he wanted to get that experience. We put him on the Genesis team uh, to allowed him to code. Uh, he had this idea where he wanted to try to build out the like the crew scheduling part of it. We just saw a lot of value in that. Once he built out like a really rough MVP within the Genesis application, we got some more uh, super coders to come on and build that out. And then we decided that we can add more resources and kind of take it from the Genesis app and make it its own application. I think we've been really lucky with the comment team because we have a lot of uh, super coders that have had a lot of experience with Space Camp. Uh, they've been through the SDI program, the internship here at Space Camp, so they've been familiar with all that. I would say working with Space Camp's been really helpful because as the kind of organizational lead, the Delta 8 CDT is not a full-blown program office. And I would say a lot of the overhead support that the portfolio leads, as well as yourself as designer, provide are really helpful to us because we don't have the overhead and the manpower to have all of these things ourselves, like a, a full one, like contracting office. Working with Space Camp's been great. You guys are a great help to us. Uh, if we need more people, I reach out. We got more people. Uh, we got Rob and his team that came on after I said, hey, we're, I'm about to leave for NCOA for a few months. Can we try to get some more members onto our team so we don't completely stop developing? Getting new members, just having that knowledge of the portfolio and getting us in touch with other teams that might have the same issue or settled the same issue. That way we don't have a complete stoppage. We reach out to you guys at Space Camp and you might be like, hey, go talk to this person. And that just keeps us on an active path of developing and then getting over those hurdles if we do run into any. Our target persona, like the target user that we're trying to work with the most and trying to get the most feedback and, and the most buy-in from are the schedulers, the unit schedulers. And every unit does it differently. Some units have whole flights that do all of the scheduling for all of the operation floors. And then some operation floors have their crew leads who do the scheduling for each of their crews. The schedulers are the primary people we're trying to target for buy-in, but ultimately it's gotta be the space operators who are actually working the floor who we need to get the buy-in to use this application. We're trying to make it agnostic enough to be used throughout every unit in Spock. There are limitations right now, and there are those educations that some units just have a crazy schedule. <laughs> and it, we're trying to work that in as best we can, and that's a big part of the redesign, making sure that we can try to fit all those units in a platform that's broad enough to fit everybody, but also has enough info to properly get the mission done. Our vision for Comet is, and kind of our rollout plan, is to target one unit within each Delta to see how it works for them. If the adoption and the feedback is good from that single squadron, once we understand and start getting that continuous feedback as people are start using it, to start targeting one Delta at a time. So for example, if Force Tops really, really likes it, we'll go out and we'll target two SOPs, which is another Delta-8 squadron. Hopefully expand to the, the whole Delta, and then once that whole Delta is kind of happy with it, we'll, we'll move to the next one. If one SOPs and Delta-9 is really happy with it, expand out to the other squadrons in Delta-9. That's kind of our plan.